YouTube, I'm back with part two to the video of making neck bone perlo. As you can see, there's a pile of bones in the back. Um, I'll tell you what I do. What most people do is they cook the neck bones until all the meat falls off the bones. And you can do that if you don't mind digging out uh, bones. By then, the bones are really soft. I've seen some people bite into the bones and they just disintegrate that's how soft they are if you just cook them till they fall off the bone but um there's a lot of stuff that's between the bones like some of the veins and stuff and i don't want that in mine and i don't like to see it in mine so i cook it and i till the bone stays the bone stays together but it will fall it will just come pull right apart i don't want any of that in my perlo I don't like gristles in there I don't like little bits of bones I just like the meat the rice and the onion mixture so I cook it some of the bones will fall off but the majority of the bones are still together and then you can take the tongs of the fork and get in there and just pull out you're raking out that's all you're doing you can even use your hand and just rake out the main meat and I'm only looking for the meat that will come I don't want anything else and so I want the bone to stay together and that's one reason why you normally get a lot of um, extra like this it looks like meat but it's not and I don't want that in there there's um, these inner workings that's on there and I don't want that in there either so once you have all of the meat, pull off the bone and see it will be in chunks at times. You can just use the fork to just kind of mash it like you would uh, potatoes and it will sort of separate. You have to get a lot of extra because remember I had that nice size pack but this is all that came off of it. It's not a whole lot. but it'll serve the purpose what this is going to do is season and give flavor to the rice so it's not plain that's done and what I will do with this is I will wait and then I'll add this to the pot I like onions I'll show you how I chop up the onions and this brown gravy mix the brown gravy mix you just Put it, add it to a um, container, and you're only going to use a small amount of water to just kind of mix this to a state that's slightly more than a paste. You don't use too much water at a time because using too much water, it'll leave it clunky or soupy and usually with this I use two packs normally I use two packs so we're gonna try it this is a brown gravy mix that's all this is so it doesn't matter what brand you use it'll work this is mostly salt and some type of preservative as you can see it's starting to look like paste which is fine I used to have one of those little rotary um, electric things that you just put in. I don't want it too thick, but I don't want it too runny either. Either It will thicken up because it's going to make gravy. See how that is, the consistency? Now, the rice says, uh, this rice says it cooks in five minutes. So, the only thing that's going to cook are the onions and the rice. The meat is already done. The instructions say use equal parts rice to water, but I've found that when I cook stuff like that, I use less water. I need to use less water. I have about three, this is a four cup measuring container here, and it has about three cups of liquid in it. So what I'm going to do is put four cups of rice in my pot 
which means I'm using one less cup than what they call for, which is fine because you can always add a little more water as you go. So that's that was four cups of the rice. I'll put it over here so you can see it. It was four cups of the rice. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the meat into that. And I like to, I'm going to pour this over into it, that mixture that we just did, which was two packs of brown gravy mix. Now, if I need more liquid than what I have, all I have to do is add a little liquid into this. And it will loosen that up, the gravy mix that was in the cup. That's going to act as your seasoning for it. I do have a special seasoning that I do mix up and use. So I'll use that and I'll use pepper. But as far as adding any extra salt, I wouldn't add any extra salt because this has salt, enough salt in it. Now I'm going to use the onion because a lot of times the children eat it, they don't like big pieces of onion. I just kind of chop my onion, hold it in my hand, take the blade of the knife like this, chop across one direction, turn the onion, so I'm making a crisscross. It'll dice it and then cut the top. It just falls right in there. It's really, um, it, it dices it up really small so the kids will eat it. A lot of times they don't even know they're eating it. It's normally done over the pot so the knife will, um, pieces fall off, fly off the onion. And that is it besides adding the liquid. Now this liquid came from me boiling down the neck bones themselves. I boiled them down and then I skimmed the stuff off the top because there was stuff on the top. I skimmed all of that off the top and then I poured all the liquid off into this cup. It tells me how much I have which is three cups of liquid and then I proceed to take the meat off the bones. Once I take the meat off the bones then I add all the ingredients to the pot Remember the quick quick rice says it cooks in five minutes. So everything is in there. Everything is in there. The meat, the rice, the onions, and that seasoning pack. And I want you to see what it's going to look like. And what I'll do is I'll put it over, put it on, on the high heat until the liquid inside, I don't know if you can see the liquid, see the liquid is there. It is enough liquid to do what needs to be done for that quick rice. I'm not, I'm not really good at cooking quick, quick rice. This is what I normally use it for since my sister-in-law um, showed me that she uses quick rice in hers. That's it. It's going to go on the stove now high heat until the liquid comes to a boil so you have to watch it once it starts boiling the liquid I'll turn it down on low and let it just um, almost steam it says five minutes is all it needs but I'll test it and see how tender the rice is and then I'll come back after that and let you see what it looks like okay YouTube until next time thank you so much for joining into another video